morning just thought I'd do an update it's uh, Friday the 13th um, I'm blessed to have the day off from work it's raining in case you can't hear those wipers uh, been doing great don't have any clue what I weigh not weighing myself frequently I don't know if I've talked about this before but it doesn't help me. I've, I've uh, in the past, I tried, you know, watching my weight, and uh, it just distracted me. It would frustrate, you know. Of course, your weight goes up and down, and how hydrated you are, and full stomach, empty stomach, and all that stuff. So I just bailed on that, and I, I do, like I said, I had to get myself weighed when I went to the foot doctor because I think I said that. Uh, and I had lost 13 pounds at that point, and that was a couple weeks ago. So doing good. Definitely clothes are fitting better. And that's kind of what I go by. So I don't know how you all choose to watch your weight, but uh, for me that's a big deal. It's just, it's just how are my clothes fitting. Um, it's been the first week of marching band practice for the season. Two practices. And it's been nice. I've been working there. Uh, taking opportunities to play around or play, uh, work on my technique, work on visuals. It's, been, it's a great place to work on visuals um, because there's downtime. You're just standing there. You're not, you don't have to wear a drum necessarily to work on your visuals. So that's been good. Um, I do have a future video in mind for sticks. Um, I won't get into it too much here, but I... I did talk about this a little bit before in a previous video, but um, I had uh, kind of gotten locked into the mindset of Vic Firth and Core Masters, uh, the Ralph Hardeman signature series, as being the best stick, or uh, you know, because that's what we use. And I had not tried new sticks in a long time, um, so decided to try some new sticks, starting off with the Vic Firth, I think it's Tom Hannum uh, Beast, made from the Car by the Carolina Crown, and then uh, tried, tried a pair of, um, and I like those because they're heavier, a little beefier, I like that, it helps with velocity and uh, rebound and everything. I think the Hardemans can be a little bit of a labor to get moving, they're so light, there's not a lot of, yeah, so they're really light. Um, comparatively speaking, and a little shorter. Excuse me. Uh, so I have the Scott Johnsons from Promark, his signature, his signature stick. I'm liking those a lot. Um, the the, the uh, lacquer on them is a little too um, smooth, so they're a little slippery. And I'm not a fan of that. So I need to look at look at that. I might just take a little fine grit sandpaper and remove some of that some of that <laughs> some of that lacquer, excuse me, <clears throat> and see how that feels. Um, I might do that. I would love it if they would make some of these sticks in kind of a natural finish. I mean, in the, in the, in the time since I since I in the '90s when I was playing, the early '90s when I was marching uh, primarily. Um, you know, we just taped the whole stick. I'll get into this again in a future video. But anyway, we taped the whole stick, and that's the only way I know how to tape it. Now, coming back into it, you know, I know there's, you know, you can tape just the shot zone, you can tape the top half of the stick, you can tape, uh, whatever, but the, the gist is, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. The gist is that you uh, wanna have skin contact with the wood, which of course, you know, when you look at the Ralph Hardemans, they're painted, so, that kind of defeats that purpose. And then you look at like the, the, um, uh, the pair of Scott Johnson's that I got are really slick. You know, they're slick. They're nice. I like the weight. I'm kind of a fan of the round bead. I kind of like the round bead. Um, uh, I like the weight. I like the length. They're good sticks. They're just a little too slippery, especially for like video, like for visuals, I'm working on, I'm not good at visuals, so tricks to tricks, I'm not good at that, so practicing, so practicing with those is a little bit difficult, because it'll be slippery, right, it'll slip through my hand, because it's such a soft, smooth, 
lacquer finish, which is great. I mean, it looks beautiful, but from a from a utilitarian standpoint um, and a practical standpoint, it's not very practical. Um, so anyway, I've been playing around with those. I get a pair of Lee Bettis coming in. Um, we'll try those out. Basically, I went for anything that was 17 inches. Signature stick first. I might just try the MS ones from Promark. I, you know, I'm gonna try a few things out. Um, and see what I like. It's fun just to try them out and see what feels good. Um, the beasts feel really good. There, it's an older pair that I that I you know took from my son who was using them in a previous marching season, and I took all the tape off and everything, and I, and I just retaped them. And the nice thing about those is they're I think the aging of the of them is helping the, the tackiness. Um, they're a little more tacky. The lacquer isn't quite so so smooth, which is good. Um, so anyway, losing weight. I know I am because clothes are fitting better. I'm down to one one belt loop, one belt hole uh, on my size 52 belt, I think. Um, and my pants are all feeling a little a little looser. Um, so progress is being made. Had one egg and a low calorie piece of toast today. Um, so for breakfast. So doing great with that. On my way, I am going to get my iced coffee this morning. Thing I allow myself, and that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll give another update once I get all the sticks in. Um, I'll kind of go through a comparison from my perspective on those, and that'll be hopefully this week. And there might be another video before, but peace.